continue. No, sorry, we move at. We move at. Sorry, we look at another parable. Luke twelve sixteen to twenty one. Luke chapter twelve. Sixteen. Let us see what sixteen has there for us. Then he told them a parable. There was once a rich man who, having made a good harvest from his land, thought to himself, "And there lies the error. You have a good harvest. You did everything. You don't think to yourself. You think about." Others, the publican and the sinner went up to pray. The sinner said, "Oh God, have mercy on me, a sinner." The publican said, "Well, I say this prayer to himself: I thank you, God. I am, I am. No, 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 no. Before God, ourself has no position, no, no, no place. So then he, then he told them another parable. There was once a rich man who, having had a good harvest from his land, Thought to himself, "What am I to do? I have not enough room." Then he said, "This is what I will do. I will pull down my barns and make greater, great, bigger ones and store them. I will say to my soul, 'My soul have plenty, so so so. I will do this. Where is God?'" This parable could be different if the rich young, the rich man had a good harvest, and he said to himself, "And to Almighty God, we had a good harvest. Things are good. What more can I do? You know what we will do. What we will do with your grace, with your blessing. I will pull down the barns. You know, I will do this. And so, if you give me the strength and thing, eh? incorporate Jesus in all your plan even when you feel you are financially academically going going very well god must always have part in our plan god must always dominate our lives he must increase we must decrease so tomorrow please god we will continue with this parable of the we just call the rich fool from uh, Luke 12, 16 to 21.